Food has evolved from the time of early hunters and gatherers to that of agronomists to urban dwellers in today's industrialized societies. Our rituals have grown as a result of food science and technological advancements. Digital transformation has the potential to connect the world's economies. Now more than ever, the food industry is at a crossroads and change is happening faster than ever before. We're moving from a world where there are usually one or two uh, mass dominating products in any category to a world where suddenly the, the cost and the ability to create a new brand, a new product has fallen to the point that many entrepreneurs uh, are launching uh, new food and beverage products. Regulations are impacting the way farmers and growers and producers work. Standardization and governance are vital. The U.S. Dietary Guidelines are uh, something that every five years the U.S. Department of Agriculture and Department of Health and Human Services leads the way in being able to gather a group of scientific experts in the field of nutrition and evaluate the research to determine what are the optimal nutritional intakes for the general population. The focus is on eating patterns. There are even more initiatives to ensure safer and healthier foods. Food security is the foundational element of the, of the food industry. You need to be able to deliver to the consumer safe, nutritious food, and safe is the key part there. In order to have security, we need to have trust, but we need to also have very good understanding of where products are coming from and how they, how they came to be. The food industry as it exists today is only able to, is only able to operate, assuming that consumers uh, inherently trust the products that are on the shelves. Customer preferences are altering all of these food formulations. Now is the time to provide all the nutrients and potential health benefits to empower people to make healthier eating decisions. Climate change is creating new challenges for the ag industry and at the same time a surge in global population along with a plunge in resources means the food industry needs to work faster and it needs to be agile and it needs to do more with less. We're wasting about one-third of what we harvest. So we throw away good food, we throw away one out of three um, units of product that we take from the land. That's not a sustainable future if we continue doing this. So in the next two to three years, uh, and it's already happening today, we're, we're really starting to see uh, a lot of energy around solving uh, the issue of food waste. And it's we've kind of realized how insane it is as a, as a society to have 40% of all the food that's, that's grown uh, go, go to waste. The solution comes in the form of data and digital transformation. At the heart of all of this digital transformation is the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is about connecting people, devices, and systems to the Internet and exchanging and interacting with data. The Internet of Things is this idea that all of your devices, which are physically disconnected, are actually connected through networks so that information actually gets entered into databases directly so we can make decisions with, with them later on. So uh, the Internet of Things is a myriad of devices and sensors that are coming to the world, in our case of food and agriculture. And the IoT has its sights on the food industry. One subsection of the Internet of Things is the Internet of Things for food. And um, it is essentially um, streaming data about food uh, as it moves through the food system. So as it grows, as it's processed, sliced, diced, chopped, canned, peeled, delivered. The Internet of Food is information on every aspect of the agri-food supply chain. At each touch point of the IoT, the data enlightens, educates, and transforms people, businesses, processes, and products. While the food industry is looking to the IoT and digital transformation as the next holy grail, still many hurdles remain. Spoilage is a big problem. Controlling quality consistency across the supply chain, clean labels, sustainability, Still, the promise for process improvement is driving digital transformation. 
So I think that the biggest promise of AI is that it's going to make people's lives better in ways that we haven't imagined today. Today, the food industry has the opportunity to leverage comprehensive data sets in new ways. It's what do I need to do? Those are prime objectives. What are the things that I need to do five years from now that are nice to do today? And what are the things that are so far in the future that I, we just can't comprehend them to the point where we need to take action in the foreseeable future? And so I think that one of the things that we're going to see in the IOF, which doesn't exist yet, but exists in the World Wide Web and is beginning to exist in, in IoT in terms of uh, standards about devices, is, is essentially a language for food. Adoption of the IoT and big data is on the rise within the food industry, and food scientists, technologists, and agronomists will begin to see their greatest achievement when they see how production, processing, and distribution will be using the Internet of Things to prevent delays, improve performance, reduce equipment downtime, and even manage inventory. Ultimately, Digital transformation and the IoT will lead to food innovation that will accelerate safety, sustainability, traceability, transparency, all while feeding the world. We have only just begun to explore robotics, AI, supply chain, blockchain, and how they will impact the food industry.